Holy sh That right there was crazy, man. That was crazy. I've been pretty down because my camera's been just been really slow, but over the last week, things have really kicked off. And I've got two bucks. Um, so I've got this buck that's showed up a couple of times, not a lot, but he's a monster, an absolute slob of a deer, and I'd love to get him. And then there's this deer that I saw about two weeks ago. Uh, just happened to get up and look out my back window. And I see a deer and I look at him, pull out the binoculars and realize he was an absolute monster of a deer. I mean, just big, wide, tall, just everything you can imagine. But he didn't hit a single camera. I hadn't had a single picture of him. So I asked the guys around me that hunt and they're like, nothing like that, right? I was like, do you know, you guys got a giant 10 point? They're like, no, send me some pictures. I was like, no, 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 definitely not. So anyway, last night I was sitting on the couch. My phone went off about probably 7.30. Look at it, really dark picture. I've got one that's just out here facing in my open hay field. Bring it in and brighten it up and realize it was that buck. And he's a giant. I mean, just, he's, his rack is probably as tall from his belly to his back and more taller. And then just big and wide frame, just a beautiful deer. He's a ghost. You know, nobody else has had him on trail camera. I just got the one pick of him. Either that or they're not telling me. But uh, we'll see what happens tonight. This is kind of the first time I've hunted this spot ever back here on this property. Um, we got a little bit of a weird wind. It's a, it's a straight west wind, and I don't really have a lot of stand locations that's good for this. Um, but what I do know is that uh, there's a guy that's going to be hunting over here west of me, and he said he was going to decoy tonight, so he's going to be rattling, grunting, all that good stuff. So my thought would be, if he's going to be drawing deer, I'm going to sit this funnel. Um, basically, the way this piece sits right here, I've got a cornfield in this corner, a picked cornfield, and then I've got um, a standing cornfield in this corner and the creek runs right through here. It pinches down, so there's really only probably about a 60 yard wide area. Um, and really that pinches down even more than that. You know, like I said, I'm trying to hunt this funnel. I've hunted pretty close to here, but it's pretty thick. So I can't really see back here and I would always see movement, but it was just too thick for me. But I can see on this, on the low side of the creek, you know, I've got a trail here. I tried to put a vine, like a mock scrape with a hanging vine, but I haven't had any luck with it yet. And it, it looks like the, it's just got leaves in it. Some, some nuns hit it recently. Um, on the other side, which I probably don't have a shot because it's so thick, um, the creek's probably 15 foot higher or the, the top of the creek bed, 15 foot higher. And so I can see right along that and I know they follow through here but I never really have pinpointed exactly how so my hopes are that I can catch them coming through basically my thought would be if they're coming this direction you know I'm obviously set up to hunt this little vine scrape the trail that that's on but I could squeeze one off back here it looks like a few of my lanes so anyway uh, stick with me here. It's about 4.15 or so, and uh, things should heat up in about an hour. Let's see what happens.
Smoking. Smoking. Woo! Holy sh! Oh. oh my god. Oh. That right there was crazy, man. That was crazy. My buddy Cody is hunting in the property next to me. He's got a decoy out there and he rattled. And this buck come in and, and was heading over there and Cody was rattling, but I don't know why he didn't go back out into the field there. Oh my God, just circled all around me. Oh my God, that's a solid buck right there. There's not much blood tracking. We know exactly where this deer's at, so come on, let's see it. <laughs> yeah, holy crap. Yeah, we'll have to figure, figure that out. Whoa. Oh, thanks. Oh, yeah. He's a tank. But yeah, I say probably if we just go straight there, down that slope and up that slope, we'll probably be all right. Close. <laughs> ah, yeah, oh, I'm getting Oh, that's good. Come on. Ready? Beautiful. Okay, yeah, that's gonna be fun, isn't it? Okay. Whoa. Yeah. Okay, that ain't gonna work. I'm caught. Okay. I'm sure how much I'm helping. Go deer hunting, they say. It'll be fun. I see. Did we leave the truck lights on? Oh no, that's reflection. So yeah, if we go right around there. I think that takes us right to the corner. Yep, should be the trail here about to come out. Funny. All right. <sighs> Whew, get balls up. <sighs> okay. Well, I'll just pull the truck up. You wanna grab your stuff, throw it in? Yeah. Hop up in here and I'll... Oh! Yeah, that was uh, that was definitely a, a once in a lifetime kind of a thing with you hunting over here, me hunting over there, and we both heard him coming from the corn behind us. Corn hadn't been picked yet, and he worked his way up, crossed the creek on my side, but then worked his way like he was going to go over to Cody. Um, but we'd had a doe, or I'd had a doe come in, and she picked me out of the tree, knew something was up and stood behind me for probably five to 10 minutes just stomping. It was probably about 15 minute ordeal total. And she'd made this big loop and then um, ended up working the way um, to the south where this buck actually came from. And he must've hit that doe's trail and he just came right through this really nasty stuff. And he was seven yards. I mean, he was literally right below me when I, uh, when I let go, I was lucky to be able to even get drawn back without him seeing me. He was that close and it was all over <laughs> after that. So he was on a mission. Man, what what a day. What an excitement. I appreciate you being such a good sport. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> I don't care who picks, I just love seeing it. And then like I said, it was a once in a lifetime thing getting to be this close and you know have amazing communication with your neighbors knowing that you're not here to hurt each other you're here to help each other and this is literally the greatest case of communication back and forth that this deer was between us there's no hard feelings on who was going to shoot him and at the end of the day we both dragged him out and he gets to go home with him so <laughs> you might think of that for a strategy in the future if you're hunting and somebody's going to rattle maybe have somebody you know off the you know off the decoy a little bit further and 
you know, maybe you could play a two-man game. I don't know. It worked for us first time ever, so. Yeah, he bumps off of me and went right back to you, and he's in the tailgate now. <laughs> what a night. Cody, I really appreciate it. Absolutely. I'll do it anytime. All right, folks. Keep watching. We'll bring you some more with Working Class Hunter. Uh, so, I mean, yeah, if we come around and then this side of the tree, we can shoot it right out, it looks like. Yeah, if we go straight, yeah, straight takes us right to the corner. Oh, hell. Hang on now. Okay.